Today, I think we're going to step off the edge. We're doing some man shit today. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. That's right. We're going to do some man shit today. Maybe, okay, ladies do it too, but it's guy stuff. And ladies, never mind. We are going to be barbecuing some venison backstraps, a New York strip steak, and we're going to be talking some whiskey. Before this video goes too far, I am not a whiskey sommelier. That's a pretty big word. I had to look that up. I'm not a whiskey expert. If you ever watch Whiskey Vault, I'm more of the mooch side. So I'm going to go over my experience with the different whiskeys. I got some Elijah Craig up there. I have to go get some Evan Williams. I do really like the Evan Williams and the Four Roses. Anyway, I got to get the meat ready for the barbecue. And I'll show you how I do that in just a second. All right, guys. Many of us have cooked venison before. And I can almost guarantee all of us have dried it out. So what I like to do is when I buy a package of bacon, I cut it into strips or thirds. And then pack it individually, put it in a freezer bag, put it in a freezer. So when I do cook meat, just take a one package and thaw it out. Therefore, you're not thawing out a whole package of bacon. And I guess there's nothing wrong with eating a whole package of bacon. No, there's no wrong in that. So before I season this up, the first thing you want to do is cut the silver skin off. Get it right down to just the meat. So it looks just like this side here. Now I'll get rid of most of your wild taste. Alright, so now we've got the silver skin off. What that's going to do, that's going to eliminate a lot of the gamey taste. If you like the game taste, leave it on. I personally, I don't. So now we've got nothing but meat here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in thirds. Slice it down the middle, fill it with bacon. All right, so we're going to cut this. Right there. And right there. All right, now we got this cut in thirds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take each piece, cut it up the center, but not go all the way through. And you just open it up. Now that we've got it open, comes the good part. That's a lot of bacon. Alright, so now we're going to take our bacon and we're going to fill the center. The rest of the bacon is not going to waste. I got a New York strip I'm going to put it on. And what we do is we close this up. Alright, and this is our back straps with the bacon insert. The problem now, I got to find some toothpicks because I don't want it to come apart. I can cook it the way it is, but toothpicks will help keep everything together. Also, I'm going to put some Everglades heat because I like my food hot. Black pepper. And of course, Montreal steak spice. Time to get the steak done. Alright, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the Everglades heat on there. Black pepper. And some Montreal steak spice. Like I said, when that bacon starts cooking, the grease from the bacon is going to go into the deer meat and therefore it's not going to dry out. 
However, you still cook it too long, it's still going to dry out and be like a piece of shoe leather, which we don't want. I'm going to do this one a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the seasoning on first, then I'm going to put the bacon on because as the bacon cooks again, the grease from the bacon is going to go into the seasoning and then take that all into the meat. A little bit of Everglades heat. Some black pepper. And of course, Montreal steak spice. Now what happens is, yes, I've only got it on one side. So once I get it on the barbecue and it starts to cook a little bit, when I flip it over, I'll season the other side as well. All right, now once the seasoning's on, you then take your bacon, run that across the top of your steak. You ever notice bacon goes with everything? Maybe not your cereal or your oatmeal, but bacon goes with just about everything. There we go. That looks delicious and it's not even cooked yet. So I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit, and now I'm going to go start the barbecue. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. All right guys, so the idea is to keep this around 250 to 300. Okay, so it looks like the chicken's almost done. The steak's almost done. I'm pretty sure the venison is done. That's why it's on the top rack. All right guys, so here we go. First thing we're gonna try is the venison. Now, like I showed you, it's got the bacon in the middle. Smells delicious. All right guys, clearly, clearly I need a sharper knife. Look at that. Y'all see that? Let me help you out here. Look at that. Ooh. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Some Elijah Craig. Oh, well, well. Now the New York strip. Done to my taste. Oh, my God, is that tender. Cheers. Wow. There you have it. We got some venison backstrap stuffed with bacon. We got some New York strip covered in bacon. I mean, bacon goes with everything. Come on. And we got all that paired with some Elijah Craig. This may or may not be a new segment. I'm kind of digging the man shit deal. Especially when it comes to barbecue like this. I'm going to review that whiskey probably in the next couple of videos as well as some others. Um, and this is all brought to you by James Kitzel because he's encouraging me to start reviewing some whiskey. Whiskey and barbecue seem to kind of go hand in hand. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to go outside with the family and eat this. I might just... Whew, some things never change. Cheers. See you in the next one. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my Guess what? We're going to do some man shit. Uh, okay, man, shit, ladies, shit. ladies do this as well. You now, good buddy of mine, James Kitzel. This guy knows a lot about whiskey. I am by no means a sommelier. You're about to find that out. Uh, I do have a special episode coming up where I'm going to review three whiskeys. Now, my taste is 